Hey YouTube, today I'm going to make a quick video on how to get a uh, Nintendo DS emulator for your PC. So first, click on the first link, it's going to send you to this page. And you want to click on D-E-S-M-U-M-E, -E, the second one here. It says download here, right underneath the title, click on it. Actually, no. Yes, click on it. And once you click on it, it should download it quickly. Uh, go find it in the downloads, extract it, and in this case, click on extract files, click on OK, and I'm going to cancel it because I already extracted it, and you should get a folder like this, you can move it to anywhere you want, it's like your desktop. So once you have that, your emulator should be good to go. Now you want to click on the second link, which is the same website to download the game you want. So you can search the game you want here. Pokemon, let's say. And let's pick the first one. And click on download. And click on slower download. And type in the code. slower download again and wait 20 to 25 seconds and the button should pop up right there saying download file it usually takes two minutes four minutes maybe because uh, it has a download speed cap on it which means it's gonna it, it won't go any faster than about uh, about 20 kilobytes per second I believe Anyways, it's really lame. The website is lame, but this is the only one with good ROMs, only website with good ROMs on it, so that's worth it. So once you download the ROM, it should be it, it should be numbered, and it should be a .rar file. You want to extract it. Let right click extract files, and you're gonna get a folder like this. Double click on that, and there should be your uh, your ROM. So in some cases, instead of let's say rename, instead of at the end, instead of being NDS, they might change it to ND5. If it is ND5, you want to change it back to NDS in order for this emulator to work. So once you have that, you want to place it. Once you rename it, you want to place it somewhere easily to access. So somewhere you can easily find it. So double click and now you want to go to the emulator that you downloaded. Uh, click on the first one, DS D E S M U M E dot E X E. Uh, double click it. Now what you want to do is go to config 3D settings. And here you should you, it's gonna be an open LGL click on soft rasterizer I don't know what it does but you're supposed to click it and here you don't want this checked all of them are going to be checked you want to uncheck this and make sure these two are checked and click on OK now to actually play the game click on file open ROM and find your ROM mine is on the desktop and wait for it to load and there you have it it's working so the bottom screen is the touch screen you have to use your mouse unfortunately for this uh... the sound does work by the way it's just that i have headphones on uh... so you can you can probably not hear it but yeah um... also i'm gonna pause this for now config control config this is where you get all your controls uh, to change them you just select the one you want to change and change it to whatever you want uh, down this right and yeah you can change them all to whatever is comfortable to you you can also use your PSP as a joystick uh, there is a video on my channel on showing you how to do that or if you have a real joystick you can use that too uh, so yeah that's how you get Nintendo 
DS emulator. This was a request by rock 2 dashi one of my subscribers. So yeah, if you have any other requests, be sure to post them in my channel. And enjoy playing DS.